man, we're doing a little test for Straight Ranger over here. We're going to allow him to figure something out. With that other mic, you wouldn't be able to hear him barefoot. He can't get up that high. Hey, Straight Ranger, it's your talk show, man. A hey, straight razor. It is your talk show. That video gate is rolling. It is officially 2.50 in the AM Christmas Eve. Yes, sir, December 24th. A hey, straight razor. It's your video gate. It's your thing. Do what you do. Try to do it the way I told you, and you'll be and you, you'll see what it is I explained to you beforehand. I'm gonna step outside for a couple of minutes and let you have this thing to yourself. You're a sound king, me and that old blow notorious stock Mike in Brooklyn at seven. tuned up earlier, he was a solid 8 kissing that 9. When he drops that variable back, he takes everything out of the air. His max signal, his max throw, his loudest, clearest out there in DX is more potent with that variable up. Variables need to be set through drivers without big boxes on. Once you...
Listen on channel two. Hey, Stray Razor, let me know when you think you found your sweet spot. No problem. Just when you're done playing around, toying around, let me know when you think you found your sweet spot. Let me know where that's at, okay? Let it cool down, man. I ain't in no rush, man. You know, I ain't doing nothing. This video gate on six minutes and 36 seconds. And uh, it's your show, man. I, I just want you to tell me where and when you think you got your sweet spot. That's it. That's your sweet spot right there? That's the sweet spot on my low side. All right, let me see the sweet spot on your other side. I got to reach on. All right, well, check it. Um, whatever you're using for a low and a high, when you tune that shit up, make sure you tune it on the high side. You never got to retune when you drop to low, but if you're tuning it to rocking low, it might sound a lot better tuned up and high. So just think about what I just said. Try it that way and see what's up. Tune your shit up to your sweet spot and high. When you think you got your sweet spot and high, just click your driver, whatever it is, to low and check out what it does. But still let me know when you got that sweet spot because after you're done checking, I'm going to show you something. No problem. Now, put it back to your high side of your sweet spot and raise the driver on the radio and do it again. Okay, so so you did everything with the radio as far. Good, good. Alright, alright. Well, I'll tell you what. When you did what you did, well, I'm going to let the video game tell you, but I'm going to tell you, the proper way to rock that shit, the right way, I, I know it swings a little higher if you retune it, but the sound quality and the actual DB signal out here is stronger without the retune. So I just want you to know that, man. So when you get to see it here and later, you'll be like, okay, I see now. You know, that mic, that that, that, that AST mic, that, that other mic, not the Turner, man, the other, you know, that mic is the winner number one. That That's that's your sound quality right there, man. That's your boldness. But I'm going to let the video gate tell you, and I'm going to put this on the Slapjack channel. So for anybody who don't know what the Slapjack channel is, this is what you got to do. You got to go to YouTube, and you got to type in S-A-L-P space J-A-C-K-D. Jacked. Got me? Now do me a favor, hold the dead key. 
but very, very gently. See, since you have your radio all the way up, I know how the variable knobs work. They go a little bit past the variable in the radio, a little more than what it could handle. So the best way to set that bitch is to do it with a closed mic gain, dead key it, and it's very gently, nose hair, just enough, very gently crack it back. You're not moving that needle lower, but when you see that needle flutter, stop. Oh no, I didn't. God, talk some, man. Use this video game. Just don't touch no dials or knobs. Simple mic swap out. I do know one thing, I do know one thing, if you're smart enough to leave that radio knob dial of its power where it is till you hear this video gate, I guarantee you never touch it again. tell you what happened. It dropped a little bit. It dropped the nose hair and the dead key carrier but got a lot more swing. And it's not dialing up where it's going wrong. It's when you dial or drop below a certain point that it just makes you disappear into nothing sounding like you really off channel with no carrier or ERP out here on the meter. So this video is going to help you like like no other because you know I, i've caught you a couple of times out throughout the years like this and, you, and it's never consistent next time i hear you back to <laughs> i'm like damn it why you keep doing listen to me this gate gonna pay off like you don't know it's uh, this gate this gate at 14 minutes and 55 seconds go ahead sure so
as opposed to doing that damn peekaboo seesaw shit. Because I'm going to tell you why. Half of the cat niggas that read the mail referee and they don't understand that the cat niggas are peeking in there. He's not whooping me. He's just back there behind me peeking up and down. Well, let me try to put it in layman's terms so you understand what it is I'm trying to tell you. When you're battling and you're doing all that fuzzy shit, by utilizing this video and where you got that radio power knob now, anything below that would hurt you. But where you have it now to where I caught you earlier before you started any of this, all I can say to you is when you're showing close to 4 or 5 dB stronger in this gate, I want you to realize something. The stronger you are in this gate with that radio power, the more dB you have out there in DX land. When you back that knob down, you take yourself from maybe a 7, 8 pound in DX to like a 3 or 4 swinging up to a 5 and enable others to ride you. What you're going to see in this video gate is two places you got that RF power knob. It's going to hit you like a ton of bricks when you see it. You're going to go, I see what he's saying. So I want you to keep note to the carriers you're seeing in this video. That is the most important. Yeah, for sure. No, I'm not down there. I know what you're saying. I know, I know what you're saying. As far as the uh, sweet spot, I got shot it now. I got, I got, I got forward peak and I'm actually gaining uh, DB's torque. The other way is drive back. When I drive the carrier back, I'm actually talking almost to where I'm at now, but not quite. But I got you. I don't know what you're talking about. Watch your meter. One, two, three, four, the high side. One, two, three, four, the medium side. That's what you want me to do. One, two, three, four, my low side. No, I was giving you all three of my stages without retuning, without doing nothing. Right now, you're looking at the, as low as I can go. As low as I can go. Now, now I'm going to teach you something. This is as low as this box will go. Hold on, watch this. Watch this. And this right here is as high as it'll go. Now watch this. The sound quality you're hearing. My box right now, I tuned it up on channel 19. It's a channel 19 tune-up. I didn't tune it for 6 down here, bro. I did not tune it for 6. You're hearing a channel 19 tune-up. So I want you to keep in mind, whatever carriers you just seen, I want you to add about 2 more to that and dead key it upwards. If I did tune it down here. But what I was trying to demonstrate and show you is, this is the high side. Watch, just watch the meter. One, two, three, four. That's the medium side. One, two, three, four. That's my normal run. That's my normal run. Hey, hey. I ain't got my damn, I ain't got my damn, uh, my check lights or nothing. I like, I understand what you're talking about. Okie dokie. You're going to like this video. And, and, and if this video does what, does what I'm hoping it's going to do, <laughs> there's a couple of comp pickers going to be in trouble out here. <laughs> well, I am, I am going to try it. Um, I got, like I said, I, I know my radio knob setting and all that, all of my game. I'm going to try it. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go and then put that shit on damn, uh, 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 the damn garden snake or whatever you want to call it. So. But I'm not going to lie. In today's world, and I, I'm not going to lie to you, I don't, care, I don't care what box you're running. I don't care who made it. I don't care what, you know, what kind of box is driving. Well, I'm going to tell you this. You're using a radio and you're using a driver. If your driver is transistor, if you're full enough to go below that 1.6 and be in the lowest to go, then, you know, that's your problem. Uh, and I don't care, like I said, I don't care who builds it, who makes it, if it's transistor. And you're full enough to go lower than 1.6, that's your problem. If you're full enough to go higher than 2.5, again, that's your problem. And there's your zones, depending on your manufacturer. I'm clear. Uh, I